Decide to look over Nanako's homework. I have to write a paper about my favorite animal. Hmm, which one should I choose? Oh, I know! There's a picture of it on that shirt that Dad bought. What's it called? A platypus? I'll write about platypuses. Nice, she has good taste in animals. Nanako eagerly begins researching platypuses. She doesn't seem to need any help, but you make sure she's on the right track. The platypus lays eggs, and they have poisonous claws! Question, is the male or female platypus that has the poison claws? I don't know, Chad, do you know? I wanna say female, but I'm not sure. Anybody know? Any ideas? It's not neither. It's either female or both, I think. I don't think it's just the men. Just the males. I'm gonna just say female, I think. And hope for the best. Bzz, wrong! I'm surprised there's something you don't know, big bro. Wow, she didn't even tell me what it actually was. Wow. After Nanako finished her research, you put her to bed and returned to your room. All right, let's finish our stupid homework. Finish the... St oh, it makes you. Wow. Rude. We're still not done. That was the third time. Oh, it's done. All of your homework has been completed. Three days of wasted knowledge gains. You decide to look over Nanako's homework. This is the last thing I have to do for my homework. I need to write a picture diary. Um, big bro and dad. Um, let's see. August 27th. Uh... I don't remember the weather. Um, big bro, did it rain the day we worked on my art homework? Um, it was sunny all day that day, I'm pretty sure. Was it? Mmm, Nanako seems puzzled. It might have rained in the first half of the day. Big bro and his friends helped me a lot with my homework. They were so nice. I liked them so much. No, don't look! But you're reading it out loud. Nanako has finished all of her summer homework. Hooray! We're a good big brother. Who wants to, who wants to hang out? Good morning, Senpai! It's me, Arise! Did you know the fireworks oh. festival is today? You know, I don't have any plans. Uh, let's get everyone together. Okay. Thud thud. Big bro, are you there? Yas. You want to come to the fireworks festival? I'm going to play at Monachan's house. I'll buy some trash bags on the way back. Okay. You wonder if Nanako knows about the fireworks festival. You tell her you'll be going with your friends. Dad said we'll be going to the fireworks show once he comes home. It's at night, so I have to go with Dad, but he said he'll try and come home for it. I hope to see you there. Uh-huh. I'll go with Dad, so we'll see you there. Cute. You decide to leave Nanako to Dojima and go to the fireworks with your friends. You and your friends arrive at the hill overlooking the town. Ooh, the crowd's pretty thin here. Damn it, it's the 30th, which means it was big bonus day at the claw game, but events destroyed me yet again. The riverbanks were packed. I'm surprised you found a quiet spot like this. Oh no, I knew about it. I pass by the mountainside a lot. Customers ask me about it too. I wonder if Nanako-chan will make it. I called and told her where we'd be before I left. Hey, where's Teddy? Oh, good question. Not only was he hitting on girls nonstop, he accidentally put the moves on Hanako and she dragged him away. Oh no, Teddy. He ducked into his bear skin right away and acted like a bear, but he still got dragged off without a word. No, Teddy. Whoa, 
Can we just leave him like that? Sure we can. His karma caught up to him. I mean, you're not wrong, but it's Hanako. Aren't you being a little cold to Teddy today, Yosuke-senpai? When I think back to what he did this morning, no, I really don't. Truth be told, I wish I could send two or three more Hanakos at him. Holy shit. Dude, that would kill him. What happened anyway? I don't even want to remember it. He dug up some private stuff from my room and brought it to the Hanamura family breakfast. It was porn, wasn't it? He was all like, Yosuke, what's this magazine about? Yup. Can you imagine the humiliation I went through because of him? It's your fault for having that stuff. It's not like I ever thought anyone would wave it around in front of my parents. <laughs> is this really what you want to be talking about with girls around? Huh? Is he not talking about his secret savings? Oh, secret no. savings for a guy. Right. Let's just leave him be. <laughs> oh, there he is. Teddy? Oh no! What a tragedy! Oh, no. My lovely fur is completely <laughs> ruined! No! Hanako demolished this poor man! That's... Okay, that's worse than I was expecting. Anyway, people are going to stare at you like that. Hurry and take it off. But I'm like a newborn child inside. Just like your magazine from this morning, Yosuke! Quit reopening this morning's wounds! <laughs> There they are! Big bro! Oh, she's in her yukata again. Cute. Bye, Teddy. Hey, Nanako-chan! Looks like Dojima-san made it in time! Yeah, Dad came home early! Good, do good job, Dojima. I'm happy for you. Yep. Nanako seems happy. Sorry if I made you nervous. I didn't quite finish my paperwork, but I figured a dachi could handle the rest. Dojima leaving work early. What a what a time to be alive. Hey there, little lady. Want to launch some fireworks of love with me? Teddy, she's 11 years old. How do you do that? <laughs> well, cut it out, Teddy. Do you want Dojima-san to haul you in? Things are heating up down there. Does that mean it'll be starting soon? Really? Ooh. That's awesome. Pretty. Uh oh. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't listen to him. Stop messing with her, Teddy. Sometimes you're unbearable. Was that supposed to be a joke? <laughs> Oh, looks like this one's a doozy. Ooh, you're right. Wow. Ted Fire. Oh my god, this game is so so good. It's the little moments. You enjoyed the fireworks festival. That concludes our program for the Summer Fireworks Festival. Thank you for coming. And all of us here in Inaba hope to see you again next year as well. Man, that was amazing! Totally worth coming out here for. Because you got to stuff your face, right? So what? You were all munching on snacks, too! <laughs> An extra-large steak bowl doesn't qualify as a snack. Hey, Yosuke. I disagree with you. Did you have fun, Nanako-chan? Mm -hmm. I'm sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. It's about time for you to be home in bed. I'll take Nanako back. Make sure you guys don't stay out too late, huh? Bye bye, Nana chan! Bye bye. Wave, wave. All the fireworks were great, but I don't know, it just feels like summer's just about over. Cause it is. Why'd you have to bring that up? I'm all right with that. When I'm working, I have to wear fall clothes during the summer so I don't get a sense of the seasons changing. But this year, I went to the beach and saw some fireworks. I even got to wear a yukata out to the summer festival. The festival, huh? Well, thanks to a certain someone, I don't have anything but bitter memories of that. Nah, Yosuke, it was Really? Fun. That someone is you. Well, I had fun. Oh yeah, you were good at that candy cutting. Wait, that's not what I meant. I was expecting something more 
more bittersweet and stuff. Right? Wait, what are these options? I don't understand either of these. It's e I don't know what either of these are. It's easier with guys. You Kappa take the pride. long view too much when it comes to this stuff. Are you going to throw away the only summer you'll ever get as a second year just because it's a little less annoying? Hey, that's mean. You make it sound like we're annoying. Annoying? Am I really? No. Sheesh. Yukiko's freakout switch just kicked in. It's your fault for being so insensitive, Yosuke. Huh, yeah. This kind of thing really doesn't come up with guys. <sighs> Yosuke, you really do only think about girls, huh? Like you're any different. <laughs> True. Oh yeah, should we have asked that kid to come with us today? What kid are you talking about? Uh, well... You mean... Naoto Shirogane? I think that's his name. Oh, him. Yeah, I guess so. I didn't even see him it, around. We're working on the same case in a way. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we might not ever see him again. I'd hate to leave it with him like that. I said some harsh things. True. You know, I remember him saying something that sounded pretty sad. Then again, I doubt he's the type who'd accept even if we had invited him out to see the fireworks. I wonder if he's not here anymore. He seemed to be busy, so maybe he's already working on another case in some faraway town. Huh. Sorry, I didn't mean to be a downer. There's no point in wondering what might have been. He was a pretty good-looking guy, too. He might have been a roadblock in... Uh, other ways. Yosuke, you really do only think about girls, huh? Shut up! You don't have to say it twice! <laughs> you ate a light dinner with the others, then headed home. Fun. You finally came down. Um, I got a call from Dad. He said someone gave him a watermelon. Ooh. It's too big for us to eat, so he said you should call your friends over. Do you think Teddy and your other friends can come? Nanako seems to want everyone to come. You decide to give him a call. Don't single out Teddy, Nanako. Watermelon? Oh, definitely. I haven't had any yet this year. I'm going to call up the others, so you better not smack it open before we get there. Luckily, everyone was able to come over. Nanako may have been a factor in their decision as well. Um, Dad got a watermelon from someone, so he said we should call everyone. Man, a watermelon. Because of all the stuff that's gone down this summer, I completely missed out. So, where is it? The fridge? Gee, Kanji, they invited us over. At least show some manners. We gotta smack it open first. Huh? Are we seriously going to do that? We can't eat it if it gets all crushed. But, but doesn't it sound like fun? I want to do it too. I'll swing at it with everything I've got. The splattering fruit juice, bursts of joy, one night of love. The bitter sweetness of those days is the essence of youth. Teddy, you're horny again. That makes no sense at all. And dude, will you cut out those commercial lines of yours? That's the essence of youth. I'm home. Whoa, that's a lot of shoes. How many people are here? Welcome home. <laughs> Let's split the watermelon open. Say what? Ah, well, you see. No, don't. The watermelon was already cut and shared with the neighbors. Come on, Nanako. Don't pout. Everyone came here to hang out, right? I'm really sorry. It never occurred to me you'd want to do that. Hey, Nanako-chan, let's do it again sometime. Next time, we'll do it right at the beach. Seconded. Whoa. Does that mean we get another chance to see you in bathing suits? Oh, but there probably aren't enough days left. We'll have to do it next year. Next year? 
Will you play with me next year, too? Of course we will! You betcha! You betcha! Did you hear that, Nanako? Yep, thank you! Fun time slowly passes by. Eventually everyone went home. Nanako must have gotten tired too. She already seems to be asleep in her room. Thanks for everything today. I don't know. I think maybe he was he was just drooling on it. I didn't see what he was up to. It's been a while since I last saw Nanako in high spirits like that. <laughs> the case is finally solved. Now for all the... <laughs> ah, never mind. Save it for some other time. You know, you really made some great friends. Please don't t take my day away. No, this was the day I needed to manage my garden. No! Why? Why? The first day of school. School. Oh, we're back to school. My morning. melons. Good morning. Oh, summer vacation's over already. Yo, guys. I got lost on my way here. The vacation was pretty long. Not that long. Sheesh. Sheesh. Good morning. Oh. Y you? You're that, uh, pint-sized detective. I beg your pardon? My name is Naoto. Please don't give people bizarre nicknames you make up on the spot. <laughs> um, you know this is a high school, right? My cooperation with the police has come to an end. However, there are aspects of the case with which I remain unconvinced. Same. There are some family-related issues as well, so I've decided to stay here for the present. From today forth, I'll be a first year at your high school. Well, you're only a first year? And I felt that I should at least introduce myself to you all. I trust our relations will be cordial, senpai. Senpai? That detective boy's our underclassman? Figured he was older, not not younger. So they got the guy over summer break. I was sad to know he was a student I once taught. You gotta watch out for unjustified resentment, guys. I'm sure you know what I mean. You all watch gossip shows. You never know who has a grudge against you. My advice, train your body regularly so you can fight back. You need exercise and meat to train your body. Young people, eat meat. All right, now a sudden question about meat. Hey, Narukami. Venison is the meat of what animal? Ooh, deer, right? <laughs> All of the above. Give the answer you thought was right. Nope, it's all of those animals. What? It actually is? Holy shit. I thought it was just deer. My mind has been blown. Actually, venison is the name for any game meat. That includes wild boar, deer, moose, reindeer, and even some kinds of rabbit. Horse meat is sakura. And deer meat is momiji. Remember those guys, too. It comes from the word vinor, meaning to hunt. But nowadays, people really only use it to refer to deer meat. Yeah, I got debated, dude. Speaking of outdoor experiences, the school trip is next week. I hope you get the chance to get some yummy meat. But be careful not to eat anything that has to hide behind a code name, though. <laughs> the answer was incorrect. Wow, I got baited so hard. I had no idea. Man, school's as dull as ever. With the case closed, the days feel so empty all of a sudden. Come on, Yosuke. Everything went back to normal. It's a good thing. I didn't mean it that way. It's just... Hey, we're stopping by Juness later, right? Why don't we ask Naoto-kun to join us? Oh, well, I just thought, since he doesn't know anyone yet, he must feel lonely. Didn't he say he came here to help out with the murder case? With the case closed, he's just an ordinary guy now. And if you think about it, that makes him a transfer student, just like us. Hello, senpai. 
Maybe he transferred here out of plain stubbornness, because he doesn't seem like he's only in it for fun. All right, let's see if he wants to hang out with us. A celebrity coming to school is already a surprise, but a detective is even rarer. I'm New a little friend, curious to potential. see what his family's like, too. There's that and the fact that he's a detective at his age. Oh, speak of the devil. Like There's his, the little guy. I like his hat. You don't know the area yet, right? Come on, we'll show you around. Conniving girl? Don't There's hang out with conniving There's probably tons of places girl. to hang out that only we'd know about. That won't be necessary. Oh, blasted. I'm not interested in hanging out, and neither am I interested oh, in thank you, you two. I was, I was leaning. Huh? Hey, what did you say? What did you say? What's with that attitude? We're just trying to be friendly. Jeez, way to make an impression. Yo, Naoto-kun. How's it going? Oh, um... <laughs> hey, guys. Sup? Sup? Uh, well, we'll be going now. <laughs> they got blown out. See ya! So we meet again. May I help you? Yeah, we hey, don't. now, Tokun. If you're not doing anything after school, want to come with us? Yeah, want to hang out with us? We don't have anyone with a blue color scheme on the team yet. Come with... You mean me? Perhaps another time. I have some things to mull over. Rip. Things to mull over? I must go straight home today. I promised my grandpa so. Grandpa? Oh well. That's that then. Let's hang out some other time. It was worth an attempt. Man, did you see Naoto's attitude? He sure blew his debut at school. Is he gonna be okay at Yasogami? He is different, but he has this mysterious air around him that draws your attention. Whoa, Yukiko, I never knew. You like younger guys? No, that's not what I meant. Hmm. Naoto-kun mm. said he has things to mull over, but he's got to be talking about the murder case. Oh, it does? He's some ace detective, right? I bet he's not satisfied, even though the case is closed. That's true, Is but... it not just, like, Oji-san in Japanese? <laughs> this place isn't our special headquarters anymore. Uh, let's talk about something else. Isn't the class trip coming up soon? Um, where are we going? Tatsumi Port Island. Ooh. I heard it's an artificial island that faces the ocean. That's cool. It's a pretty big city. Huh? Port Island? I did tons of shoots there. It's just beyond the Moonlight Bridge, yeah? Should be lots of places to hang out there. Uh, actually, we may not have any time to goof off during this trip. I heard the school board is changing the trip schedule this year. The yep. idea is we're going to visit a private school there, like to have local and urban students interact or something. Boring. It'll be all about studying and serious business. Ugh, yuck. Ugh, they're totally missing the point of a class trip. What kind of place is this private school? I heard it's really good. They have nice buildings and everything. But it's closed on the day we're going there, so they're going the extra mile to make this work. Wow. They want us to tour some factories on the second day, and then we're coming back on the third day. That's no different from a social studies field trip. Uh, I didn't want to know that. Can't expect much from a school-sponsored trip, I guess. Well, we'll be around, so if it starts to drag, we can ditch. I'll show you guys around. <laughs> but we're in different years. Oh, didn't you know? The excursion will be like the camp out. They're going to combine the first and second years. Oh, sweet. Since Convenient. student enrollment is down and they're low on funds, they've cut the excursion back to once every two years. Well, at least we won't be bored with you around, senpai. Gosh, I'm trying to remember the last time I went to Port Island and I wasn't working. <laughs> this will be great. I wish I could be that positive about it. Doesn't this seem like a pain in the ass to anyone else? 
Some people were against the proposition, but it's been decided. Oh, and guess whose idea it was? King morons. Oh, of course. It's just the kind of thing he'd come up with. Isn't it kind of fucked up to still call him King Moron after he got murdered? No, King Moron! Why must you torture us from beyond the grave? No, King Moron! Hi, Teddy. You don't even know who that is. Yosuke doesn't think so. Hey, tell me more about True. this trip. Where is Port Island? What's there? Get back to work, will ya? Well, even though the class trip is coming up, it's still a ways away. What should I do until then? Well, it's not like we got much to do here in the first place. Man is just an animal trying to figure out how to kill time through his days. Huh. Wow, deep. You made that sound like you were being philosophical. <laughs> yet it made absolutely no sense. Oh, he tried. S sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, welcome home, big bro. Uh, let me get my one melon. Juness original Shiokara. It reads dad on the lid. No, I'm not gonna eat Dojima's food. One melon coming up. I'm so sad, dude. Every time I wanna do garden maintenance, it's the David and Event is on. It like doubles your harvest too. Look, one. I would have got two if it wasn't the damn fireworks. I don't have another. Let's do more barrier corn. Barrier corn's good. Brrrr. Should have just been a shut in. I couldn't! I mean, I probably could have, but I didn't want to. Come to think of it, there is a boy looking for stickers that are popular among children. Maybe you should ask Nanako about them. What's wrong? Stickers. A children's sticker? Um, I'll go look. Nanako came back with a sticker. This is pretty popular. Here you go. Thank you. Nanako gave you a Tenkirimon sticker. You should try giving this to the boy who wants wow. friends. I still don't have enough expression. I need to be enthralling to get poor Nanako to talk to me. <laughs> Why? Who's calling me? Text from Yukiko. Do you like scary movies? There's this one new horror movie out called One Missed Text. I don't think anyone wants to go see it with me, but I don't want to see it alone. If you want to see it, call me, please. Movie Yukiko wanted to watch is now being shown. Ooh. I'll do that. You can finally... Oh, we did finish that book. What do we want? Courage, courage, understanding. Are they... Those are both at four, right? Courage. Yeah. I'll just start reading them. I'll get through two chapter books in one night. Because I'm OP now. Begin reading Man of History. Every chapter begins, All men have the great spirit of masculinity within themselves. The amazing Khan learns to accept life and death through the rigorous application of manhood. Feel more like a real man than ever before. Since you finished hyperspeed reading, you were able to read more than normal and you finished! Courage has significantly increased. You overhear students talking. I feel so tired coming to school. So sleepy. I can't believe I was early for class every single morning until about a month ago. You're so lucky compared to me. I've been studying for my entrance exams all summer. By the way, I'm so relieved they caught the guy behind those murders. I'm not surprised it turned out to be a student. I've seen so many shows interviewing the police by now. I'm so sick of it. Lazy student. Ain't that a move. Classes have ended. Have the incidents finally been resolved? I can only hope the same tragedies won't be repeated. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> 